One of the interesting things about the blues is it likes to break the rules, especially chord function rules. If you think about an eight bar blues as an example, what we're really playing is a one chord, then a four chord, back to a one chord, play the one chord again, then we go up to the five, the four, the one, and then back up to the five before we start all over again. Well, how are we breaking the rules? Well, the one chord certainly goes everywhere. But normally we expect the five chord, which is a dominant chord, to go back to the one, the tonic chord. But instead it goes to the subdominant, the four. Now I know all these words seem a little weird, but they really explain functionality uh, of the way we make our progressions. And this rule breaking is really quite fascinating because the blues, it's not obscure, it's everywhere. And in fact, folks will tell you it's the foundation of the music we hear today and especially rock and roll music. So it's really quite an important idea that breaking the standard rules of, of how chords want to function actually makes really great music. I think I like that.